Championship is on the line. The champion, the guiding light, Matthew Taylor defends against this man. All hail Ryan Michaels. Ryan, tonight, a huge opportunity after getting derailed last summer. Your thoughts on getting back on track to the OCW Heavyweight Championship? Well, my thoughts are real simple. If there's going to be any time to get back on track, it's right here. It's tonight at Final Cut against our OCW Heavyweight Champion. Now, Matthew Taylor and I we are no strangers to each other. All of summer 2022 leading into the game 2023, Matt Taylor and I were at each other's throats, and tonight's going to be no different. The only difference now is that the OCW Heavyweight Championship is on the line. But this time, Matthew Taylor, it's coming with me. Hail. Hail. Brian Michaels, the challenger for the OCW Heavyweight Championship. This has been a long time coming, Drew. Yeah, Michaels and Taylor having an impressive match back at Summerfest, back in Mogador this past summer. Taylor winning that match, but it also seemed like Michaels won over the fans. That crowd was chanting Ryan Michaels' name until we shut off the lights at the venue. And the love of the fans is one thing, but he's going to have to get it done against one of the most accomplished wrestlers on the OCW roster in the Guiding Light, Matthew Taylor. And we've already seen Matthew Taylor once tonight. He got himself physically involved with Lord Thomas the Brute. You almost wonder if that specter is causing some sort of malaise for the Guiding Light. He almost seems transfixed on just Lord Thomas the Brute, and he can't do that tonight. He's got Ryan Michaels in the middle of the ring. Here comes that dangerous deity, the disciple of the gospel of the light, Jexy Black. But Jexy Black coming out here alone. How about we give an introduction befitting of the modern day Messiah? Matthew Taylor, the OCW Heavyweight Champion for 56 days, winning that championship back at Battle for the Crown back in January. In a three-way matchup that he was never intended to be in because it was never intended to be a three-way matchup. We keep forgetting that match was always intended to be Jake Ely versus Lord Thomas the Brute. Leave it to Matthew Taylor to insert himself into Lord Thomas the Brute's business again and 
steal the heavyweight championship. He didn't steal anything. It was in the contract that he could use that at any time. He just happened to choose the same night. But now, with the arrival of Jexy Black, this brings a whole new element, a whole new dangerous dynamic to Matthew Taylor. We don't know what Jexy Black is capable of, but we know she'll do anything for that man. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Chaparral Center in Akron, Ohio, General Manager Glenn Lane and Theo's Barton Will proudly presents to you your Ohio Championship Wrestling Final Cut Main Event of the evening. It is a singles contest scheduled for one fall at stake will be the Ohio Championship Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first the challenger in the corner to my right. He weighs in at 201 pounds, wrestling out of Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, wearing black with pink and white trim. All hail, William Eagles! <laughs> and his opponent, in the corner to my left, being escorted to ringside by Jexy Black. He weighs in at 203 pounds, wrestling out of the Bible Belt, wearing black and blue. He is your reigning and defending Ohio Championship Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, the Guy Wright, Matthew Taylor! Matthew Taylor claims that he wants to love you. And that's a direct quote. This is the guiding light to a better life. Whether you agree with that or not, you can't argue the fact he's the OCW heavyweight champion. And you can't, you can't argue the fact also that he has not been pinned in almost three and a half years. It's a stunning transformation that happened for the guiding light. And ever since that moment, he's never been pinned. That is un ungodly. I don't know if he is the modern day Messiah. He may claim to be. But to not be pinned for five years almost? Four years? Three and a half, Paula. Three and a half. Ten. I was never a math guy. The bell right, goes. It shows. And we are underway for the OCW Heavyweight Championship. Worth noting the brace on the left wrist and hand of Matthew Taylor. That does look to be a little bit more weapon type than a normal brace. Looks like there might be some metal sticking out of there. I can't imagine that's accidental. But also notice the Kinesio tape on the shoulder of Ryan Michaels. Just going to mention that as well. And right now, here we go. Matthew Taylor scares me. And Jaxi Black freaks me out. They are in a world unlike any other. And they're not from this planet. Ryan Michaels working the left arm there. But Taylor with that arm break. That, uh, I, I hate to see anybody's arm get hurt. Taylor able to quickly escape. Looked like Michaels was maybe trying to get to those legs for the sharpshooter, Drew. Yeah, but Taylor had that well scouted. As they should. I mean, these two have had a very personal rivalry. And that's gone all across the state of Ohio. This is, this is a personal rivalry. Ryan Michaels wants to prove he is better than Matthew Taylor in every way, shape, and form. And the best way to do that is to take what he treasures most, his top prize, which is the OCW 
Heavyweight Championship. Little cat and mouse here. Mostly mouse. Taylor taking his time, maybe playing mind games. Would not be a shock, I don't think, for anybody. Back in the ring they go, and back out of the ring. And Taylor hightails it out of there. That frustration might not be good for Ryan Michaels. Wait, where is Matt going? Matthew Taylor is leaving with the Ohio Championship Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Oh, come on. Come on. The referee doing his best. Our champion just left the match. The OCW Heavyweight Champion has left. Referee's count to eight. Okay, now he's... Taylor trying to make his way back slowly. Let's pick up the pace here. Nearly tried to grab that left arm, left leg. And I think Michaels has had just about enough. This brawl in the aisleway here. It's getting physical in a hurry. Both men back into the ring, and I think now Michaels has had enough of the guiding light, Matthew Taylor. But a knee to the midsection stops that in its tracks. Big clothesline there by Michaels. And now Michaels. Firing off those right hands, Drew. From behind, on the roll-up. Two count only. And a big clothesline. My God, cover here off that clothesline. Two, Two count only. Ryan Michaels is in no huddle offense right now. And a cheap shot to the side of the head. I think that was a thumb to the eye, actually. It was an open hand strike to the face, Polly. It looked like the thumb got in the eye socket. And considering the way Ryan Michaels went down and the history of Matthew Taylor, I'm not putting it past him. Just being really antagonistic tonight with Matthew Taylor, aren't you? And being realistic about Matthew Taylor. This guiding light has been great for him, but it's been horrific for OCW. This is not going to do any favors for Michaels. Chin lock applied. And not just a chin lock, but look at the way that Taylor is sitting on the small of the back. We've talked about it before, Drew. Matthew Taylor is wise beyond his years. Oh, absolutely. Drop kick there by Ryan Michaels. Could it be enough here for the Ohio Championship Wrestling Heavyweight Championship? Two no. down only. And we talked about it earlier. Both of these men want to be a part of tradition in May. Our 20th anniversary of OCW. And they want to be the man, the flag bearer, heading into that night. What a shot there by Taylor. Beautiful drop kick there by Ryan Michael. I don't know if Taylor caught the ring steps when he came down, but he is crawling around them now. And 
And this is not boding well for Taylor against the barricade with that chop. That is not going to be pretty tomorrow. Taylor right there with a headlock. But Michael's able to quickly get out of that maneuver. Down off the shoulder block. Snaps off the head scissor. Wow. Michael's is so dangerous in this mode. Going for that pedigree maneuver. Maybe it just wasn't the right time there. What's Ryan Michaels thinking here off the second rope? Oh, God, out of midair with that super kick. Caught him flush, too. My God. That super kick has won championships. Taylor And it could have won another one right here. Can he retain? No. We talk about the will in Ryan Michaels, but we would be remiss if we didn't talk about the fury and the guidance through violence of Matthew Taylor. Taylor believes everything he preaches. And I think maybe some people don't believe that, but if you spend five minutes with Matthew Taylor, you will understand Everything he says, he truly believes this gospel. 100%. And that's dangerous. Because then you get somebody like a Jexy Black who's following his every move. Shots there by Ryan Michaels. Taylor, oh my God, over the top of that clothesline. Michael's crashing hard to the floor. Yeah, I think his head may have came down first too, which is not good. While we do have carpet on this floor, it's basically just there for show. Concrete underneath that sucker. Yeah. Oh wait, Jexy Black trying to get involved. Oh, come on now. She is not part of the match, Drew. Keith Smith's count up to five. Matthew Taylor saying, stay down. They don't believe in you. The OCW faithful beg to differ. The OCW faithful are firmly count behind eight. Ryan Michaels, but he needs to get back to his feet and in the ring. Count to nine. Just able to get underneath that bottom rope. Crashing hard to the floor again. Yeah, that time he caught the apron with the, with the side of his... It looked like maybe the rib cage may have came down on... Oh, come on, there's Jexy Black again. It was the lower back that hit the apron. No matter what, it's doing significant damage to a already in pain Ryan Michael. Oh, absolutely. That apron, the hardest part of that ring. It feels like Taylor wants his opponent to suffer. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but with Taylor, it seems like he this suffering is more pain for your sins. Michael's, Michael's back pulling, to his feet. Pulling himself back into the ring. Trying to dump Taylor out of the ring. That did not work. Instead, that hot shot across the top rope. And Taylor just constantly has an answer here. Oh, damn! Jexy Black just used that book, The Gospel of the Light, as a weapon. No, Michael's just got a closer look at that book. Jexy Black has already made a huge impact just tonight alone. What does that mean for the future of this duo? as Ryan Michaels is writhing in pain here.
Michaels not going to give up. Beautiful jawbreaker there by Ryan Michaels. Oh, and skins the cat with that up kick. Amazing agility. Off the top rope! Wow! Both men down. Where did that come from for Ryan Michaels? Yeah, but Michaels unable to capitalize on it. So much taken out of Michaels. Just trying to roll towards the champion. Both men back to their knees. And exchanging, yes, exchanging blows in the center of the ring. Two heavyweight fighters throwing hands, headbutts, anything they can do. They're just they're just falling into each other to cause damage, Drew. Yeah, you do what you gotta do to cause damage. When the heavyweight championship's on the line, yes, you do. Taylor used the ropes for that pump kick. Big European style uppercut off the ropes there by Michaels. But Michaels staggering now. That doesn't look like a man who's staggering to me, Drew. Well, those knees. Looks like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu there for a minute. And it looks like Michaels might have grabbed the belt. But a nice Gamangiri kick there. Oh, the power slam midair! Cover! He's got the championship right here, right here! Two no. count only! So close for Ryan Michaels. Just a heartbeat away there. And it looks like another student. Going to Sharp Shooter Roll University. Up. No, instead, small package. Two count only. There's the kick to the midsection. Off the ropes. Into a spine buster. Cover for the championship. No. Belt. And now Michaels. Can he lock in the sharpshooter? He's got one leg trying. Up kicks by Taylor, the champion. Not going to quit. Oh, the catapult. So smart and intuitive by Ryan Michaels. Saw that the sharpshooter wasn't going to happen. Turns it, uses it as an offensive maneuver, the catapult. Michaels making his way to the top rope. Second rope, but is that a wise decision with how much damage has been inflicted on the challenger. A dangerous spot no matter what time of the match, no matter who or what you are. What is this? Both men jockeying for position on the middle row. Drew, we're in no man's land if they come off that top rope with a suplex. Because Michaels could fall right backwards. This is so dangerous. Oh my god. Spanish oh! fly! Cover by the champion! No! How? That was incredible! How did Ryan Michaels kick out a two from that? That had to have been just instinct alone. My God. Even Taylor now, praying to whomever for forgiveness. Oh, he's got it. Nope, back up and over. Oh, the super kick connects. Death Valley driver. 
leading to the top rope. Off the top, nobody home. Michael's able to avoid. Could have him here. Hooks up. Ajax! We could have a new champion. Get the cover. One, two. Oh, come on. But foot on the rope and grabbing the bottom rope as well. Because Jesse Black put it there. Jexy Black has made herself very clear in this matchup that she is going to do everything she can to keep the OCW Heavyweight Championship around the waist of Matthew Taylor. The sharpshooter perhaps, but again, Jexy Black pulling Matthew Taylor away. Oh, the super kick. My God. How many more of those can Brian Michaels take? Oh, no. This could be it right here. Oh! Back body drop on the apron. On the hardest part of the ring, Matthew Taylor dropped his opponent. And then goes down himself. What in the world? Oh, no, no! Dropped on the apron. This matchup for the OCW Heavyweight Championship. These two men giving it all they've got to prove they are the best. Taylor to the middle rope. What's going through the mind of the champion here? We might have dove right into the sharpshooter. Sharpshooter's locked in. This is it. Will Matthew Taylor tap? He may have never been pinned as the guiding light, but he hasn't tapped. Oh, wait a minute. Papa Smurf got hit in the eye. I believe Matthew Taylor tapped out to the sharpshooter. Michaels probably thinks he won. Off the second rope! Cover! What just happened? Taylor retaining the heavyweight championship here tonight. And that was a various battle. means. This has been a recurring pattern for Ryan Michaels. Every time he's so close to the OCW Heavyweight Championship, something happens that takes it away from him. And the celebration begins now for the guiding light and his number one disciple. Drew, the drums of Midgard herald the arrival. Of Lord Thomas the Brute. The Brute wants the heavyweight championship. The Brute wants Matthew Taylor. Oh, Jesus! No! Don't do that! No, no! God! Matthew Taylor just tried to sacrifice his disciple. What a piece of garbage that is! Oh man, 
They're going out amongst the faithful here. Oh, Jesus. Nobody is safe right now in the Chaparral's Event Center. We have Lord Thomas the Brute and Matthew Taylor brawling through the ringside area into the crowd. Jeez. We need more than just lights. We need the 52nd Airborne out here. We need the National Guard. That was a chair to the midsection. That's not a steel chair. That's one of our, our regular chairs here at ringside. Oh, God! Oops. This has turned chaotic, and now, oh, the OCW general manager just went down. A referee just went down. All hell is broken loose. Oh my God. Oh, trash can to the side of the head. We need help. Matthew Taylor's leaving. Oh my God. He just got a piece of the car car barricade. The brute is stalking Matthew Taylor into the locker room area with a barricade. We have two referees down. The general manager's down. Security's down. Jexy Black is down. Hell. Nobody's safe right now with Lord Thomas the Brute and Matthew Taylor rampaging through the building. <laughs> 